If you haven't heard of Ludwig, this should be a wake-up call, because this man is on track to become the biggest thing on Twitch. Before we get into Ludwig's achievements, though, let's go over how it all got started. Back in 2011, Ludwig began his content creation journey with a channel called The Zany Sidekick, saving up for a capture card and making Call of Duty videos, much like many teenagers of the time, and trying to emulate some of the biggest creators of the time. This era spawned some current day memes in his chat, but ended up not working out because rather than being himself, Ludwig was just copying what he saw was successful at the time and sought an outlet that allowed him to be more creative. After stopping the Zany Sidekicks channel, Ludwig took a hiatus from performing and creating content outside of being something of a class clown in his high school until he went to college at Arizona State University. Upon attending college in 2013, Ludwig tried to get involved in acapella, was turned down, and shifted his focus to another form of entertainment instead, improv comedy. Joining a brand new improv group on campus and honing his performing talents ended up improving his ability for streaming and speaking in front of others. This was also around the time that Ludwig got involved with his new hobby, playing Super Smash Bros. Melee. He consistently attended tournaments, and while he didn't make a huge splash as a player, Ludwig was recognized for his ability to commentate the games on stream very well, and began being paired with other, more seasoned commentators for his talents. At this point, Ludwig got back into creating YouTube content. It was all based around Melee, typically compilations and combo videos, but there were a couple of videos that really took off, creating buzz around this new guy Ludwig, like I Miss the Old Mango and Top 10 Salty Ice Climbers moments. While all this is happening, Ludwig continues commentating and is eventually paired with a Melee personality named Anthony Slime Bruno, who brought Ludwig onto his podcast, earning Ludwig the title of Slime's Friend. His interactions with Slime and the podcast were what showed Ludwig that the content he creates doesn't have to strictly be about the topic at hand, and that he can insert himself more and more into what he releases, which helped shape Ludwig's content for the coming years. Following his time at ASU, Ludwig was hired for a job in Los Angeles as a web editor for a wine and spirits magazine, and then was fired shortly afterwards. So Ludwig moved to Los Angeles for this job, and was left unemployed with no options for another full-time job. While applying for new roles, Ludwig began streaming in November of 2017 to a handful of people who knew him from his melee commentating, just getting drunk and playing Getting Over It, beginning his journey as a gamer on Twitch. Upon receiving a job offer as a content moderator for Snapchat, Ludwig chose to stop streaming after just under a dozen streams due to the new job. What do you know though? Just a few months later, Ludwig was laid off from his role at Snapchat and was left with nothing yet again. Now, in May of 2018, left with no job in Los Angeles, Ludwig realized that the only thing he wanted to do was entertain people and create content, and he had always wanted to be a YouTuber. So on May 16th, he dedicated himself to streaming on Twitch. Over the following months, Ludwig grew from 16 average viewers to just under 250 by the end of the year. Ludwig began working another job in a marketing position during this time frame, but in February of 2019 was let go from this company and then made the announcement that he was going full-time on Twitch, seeing that he had no excuses left and that any job he had gotten ended up not panning out as expected. This was the true beginning of the Ludwig you'll see on Twitch today. With the switch to being full-time, Ludwig's content saw a shift and improved immensely as he got more experienced and recognized what would bring people in and keep them there. The effort that was put in increased, and his content split between being interactive with chat or having chat watching whatever was going on that day, and every stream had the signature Ludwig charm that everyone came to expect. Whether the stream that day was an Amazon stream where chat provides links of things Ludwig has to buy, Tinder profile reviews, interactive chat streams where viewers can help create a playlist or compete in art competitions, or just Ludwig playing ludicrously difficult games like Getting Over It, Pogo Stuck, and Jump King, no two streams felt the same, and there was always some way the chat felt they could impact what was happening next. A large part of what caused Ludwig to grow so quickly is how different his content was from everyone else, and how he treats his chat. Whether that was through including stakes for every stream, whether that's him buying gifted subs for chat if he fails something, or banning chatters if they fail something, if it was because the content being created felt more like a television show with a defined introduction, content, and closing, or encouraging jokes making fun of him like calling him short, saying sniper get down to refer to acne on his face, 
or claiming Ludwig has never paid taxes in his life, nobody else on Twitch knew how to get an audience invested quite like Ludwig. Despite there being recurring bits like Reddit recaps from r slash Ludwig Ogren, unbanned forms, and Twitch Jeopardy, there are always ways Ludwig sets himself apart from other streamers and creates consistently entertaining shows. And this section would not be complete without mentioning the Ludlocks. This is a stream where Ludwig did a Nuzlocke run of Pokemon games, which, for those who don't know, is a run where any time a Pokemon faints, it dies and can't be used again, and there is no using items in battle. But he added additional stakes. Each Pokemon must be nicknamed after someone in chat, and if that Pokemon faints, not only can he not use it again, but the chatter it is named after is banned until the run is completed. The added stakes from this rule created a sense of real impact to each death, and at some points, hundreds of viewers were banned from chat because of his poor play. But it kept bringing people back in to see what happens next, and who was going to be on the chopping block that day. This is just one example of the unique spins Ludwig puts on his content to keep it interesting, and his streams began to explode as a result. While his streams grew, so too did the YouTube channel that was run alongside them. If Ludwig's streams tell a complete story, then the YouTube videos are the spark notes of each stream. The best moments from each stream will be taken, cut, and released as one cohesive story, including the introduction to the idea, the stakes, the event, and then the resolution. And the content in the event portion are what people really come to see. It is this ability to provide motivation to watch in the first few seconds of a stream or video that puts Ludwig head and shoulders above other content creators, whether it's a piece of unique content or just playing a game and raging. Each video has a compelling title and enticing thumbnail to draw people in, and the content always delivers. Everything that gets uploaded is pulled directly from Ludwig's streams, due to how he stated he can't solo record anything and freezes up in front of a camera when chat isn't there. But this ends up adding a new dynamic between the Twitch streams and YouTube content, where people can choose to either watch the streams live and experience the hype when it happens in real time, and the YouTube frogs can be spoon-fed the content directly without having to wait through the dead space that inevitably happens with all live streams. Ludwig's growth can only be described as meteoric, shooting up through the ranks of Twitch at a rapid pace. May 2018 was Ludwig's first stream after dedicating himself to streaming on Twitch consistently, and he had 16 average viewers. This shot up to nearly 250 by the end of 2018, and only continued to grow from there. By August of 2019, his consistently stellar content and performance earned him 631 average viewers, and this is when things really took off. Because over the next year, the stream got bigger and bigger until August of 2020, where he is now landing over 10,000 average viewers. Taking a look at his view counts makes it look like this growth is almost exponential. This growth can be attributed to long hours spent streaming, some moments that took off online, like being eaten by the snake in Pogo Step 1. That's how you do it. Let's go, boah. Winning an invitational Pokemon tournament, accidentally becoming the biggest individual chess streamer on Twitch, and an unmatched ability to inject his personality into anything he's doing. It's been an insane two years for Ludwig, going from 16 viewers to over 10,000, and as long as the content keeps coming, it seems the viewers will as well. Be sure to check him out. You won't regret it, and I'm sure he won't mind another person in chat calling him short.